Hey everybody, it's Bruce with Texas 46 Radio and uh, the Rock Vault here in New Braunfels, Texas. Hey, uh, we have a show during the week called uh, Chicken of the Week on Fridays from uh, 9 until noon, but somewhere in between there. And uh, we talk about our sponsor, New Braunfels Feed here in town, and also our newest sponsor is Miller Manufacturing, the makers of Little Giant products for your birds. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to put together the brooder coop from uh, Miller Manufacturing and Little Giant. So in just a second here I'm going to show you the uh, the tools that you're going to need to put it together and uh, step by step of how we do it in a good way. Be right back. Okay this is pretty much the box you're going to get. It's one box inside of another and uh, it's very compact so let's uh, see what happens next okay here's what you get when you open up your box here you should be seeing a, uh, a right side panel and a left side panel which is going to be these right here okay then I'm sorry, also your materials, they say you're only going to need a flathead screwdriver. So there you go. Uh, also, a uh, front panel, which is, let's see here, front, set panel, front panel. Oh, I'm sorry, here we go. The panels, here we go. You're going to have these right here. You're going to have one of these for each side, okay? One of those for each side. There. You're also going to have a slide-in tray. Okay. Clean up that mess. The rail, <coughs> the bottom of the cage, where your birds will uh, stand on. Now, depending upon the birds you put in there, I mean, the size is right here. Uh, but you know you might want to we're going to probably use this for quail so you're going to want to make some adjustments possibly if you need to that's the whole thing behind all of this stuff here so each each kind of bird you put in there is going to vary uh, so you just uh, make do with what you uh, what you might need to do and then of course uh, the uh, the top which the top we got right here Mighty pretty, mighty fine, okay? And uh, then you also have the lamp holder arm, which is right here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting some things together. I'm gonna change the camera angle here so we can get a little bit better view and uh, go from there. Okay, now we're gonna start assembling this product and uh, add a bag of screws, some zip ties, <coughs> excuse me, and a few other little miscellaneous bolts and things. And you'll need a flathead screwdriver. I didn't know anybody still used flathead screwdrivers for these kind of things, but they still do. All right, so you take uh, one panel. This is, uh, I'm using the one to start off with, with the uh, light lamp holder there in my left. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna take one of the panels we're going to put it right here. Let's see if it's going to go under or on top. Probably on. Let's see. That's going to go on top there. So, let me look at my instructions. Did it go above or under? It goes under. So, it goes under this particular thing right here. So, we'll take this, take that to the top. Go ahead and set your screws in there. Okay, sometimes it works good when you have one. If you're doing this by yourself, just do it just like that, my friends. Okay. Take that. We'll take this here. And just set the screws in there first to get yourself going. <coughs> Then go ahead and get the other side, do it the same way, under and over. Okay. 
Okay. And get this one here. All right. Now we got that. Let's go ahead and put the other one in. So it is tight. Two smaller screws here. Same way here. On top and over. Same size. As you can see, it's a nice little compact version here. All right. Now let's move this here so everybody can kind of see that. Now get your flathead screwdriver and go ahead and tighten. Let's turn there. We go. Okay. Not to over tighten too much. Just. Uh, it in there where it's nice and snug. Okay, and then do the same to the other side. nice and snug there okay so the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, you want to put your tray in I'm just kind of going about what the instructions say here so take your tray and put it in there with the, uh, the sorry with the long pieces cross pieces facing down Well, that is in. Uh, next, we got what here? You're going to want to slide in your tray. All right. Now, there's not a stop. There's not a stop on the outside here. So, this, this, at least not that I've noticed as of yet. Nothing has changed here, but it's okay. So, just uh, just be careful. Okay. And the next thing we've got here, you're going to want to put your top on. Let's see what we got here. It's got a little bit of a hinge to it, so let's see. That's going to go on this side. Okay, so we'll set that up there. Okay, looks good. Now you want to take the two other ones there. So be these two right here. Alright. Let's see where we got here. Let's put that in here. And we'll put this one on the other side. There we go. Alright. Now with your trusty screwdriver, go ahead and get that attached, nice and tight, but again, not too tight, just uh, tight to get it in there. There we go. Okay. All right, now, let's see what we got here if we did this correctly. Yes, we did. There you go. Okay, now the last thing you need to do really is fit the lamp arm holder in. 
which I have over here. Oop, easy, easy. Take this and put it on the top there. Let's see. Right? Right. Okay. There you go. Now, this looks like this goes this little black thing you got in there. That's going to go there inside the end here. All right. See, place the lamp into that. Put the lamp holder arm is shown. Okay. Well, let's see here. That's it looks kind of like what we're doing here so far. Let's see. Okay. So depending upon what um, kind of heat lamp you're using. There's all sorts of different ones out there, different sizes. Uh, we just happen to use the ones that we have on hand. And so I don't need, I'm not gonna be using the little plug and the screw that goes into the end here. So I'm gonna sort of put this in a safe spot somewhere where it can't get lost. And uh, the lamp that we have, we, also, we have a dimmer, a heat lamp dimmer that goes onto it. So we can adjust the, uh, adjust the temperature if we need to. Okay, so uh, basically we'll just uh, you know, we'll just kind of wrap this around this kind of neatly where it's out of the way. So then, uh, I, and you got some zip ties that kind of came along with this. So if you want to uh, to do that, you're more than welcome to. So we're just going to kind of do that there. Kind of keep it in a good little spot. So whenever you want to put your birds in, you just kind of move this to the side. Open this up, put your birds in now. For, for what we're doing, uh, the newborn quail, you'll want to put uh, some, uh, well, I don't know about newspaper, paper towels, the blue paper towels, the shop towels you can put in here. Uh, that would, you know, get their feet, get some good, some good footing so that they don't, uh, so their feet don't fall through the cracks here. So we're going to see how this works. Uh, you know, it's not, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like the hard wire cloth, hard wire, hardware cloth, uh, except these are just long versions of it. So we'll see how their feet work on it, but the ones I have in there right now that are going to go into here, they're a little bit older and they don't, they're like a couple of weeks, so they won't really need the, uh, the, the paper, but uh, I'm going to I think we might just test it and see what goes. Now you can certainly put paper and stuff here, uh, paper towels and things on your uh, your tray, if that would help. Okay. And just remember, there's no stop on this tray in the back, so it'll, you know, you can you can slide it from one side to the other depending upon where you set it. Okay. So that's that's pretty cool. So let's uh, let's take this into the uh, to the brooder area. <laughs> AKA bathroom and uh, see how this looks in there. Okay, now we take a look at the final product that was uh, assembled and brought in here to our uh, uh, brooder area bathroom <laughs> and it uh, turned out pretty well. It, uh, it's, I like it because you can, you can see the birds instead of like having them in the totes like we had before and they look like they're very very healthy in there the the heat lamp i set right you know above there on the arm which is pretty cool yep so then uh if you're able to lift the lid and you can check everybody out that's in there and we did line it with paper towels and put stacks of the food around Hello guys. And we did have one white out of the batch. One white quail. Uh, to have, at this point right now I have one waterer in here because I don't have a whole lot of birds but uh, we do have the uh, uh, little giant waterers as well. And this particular one we do put the marbles in just to make sure that, uh, that nobody falls in and drowns. Alright, so overall very good product and uh, we have not done the part yet where we're going to take the paper off and let them walk on the uh, 
on the rail underneath, but this is, uh, it, uh, there we go, worked out rather nicely. So, uh, you know, it's definitely, uh, if you have, need to have a small area that you want to do this here, if you want to do the uh, uh, raise your own quail or chicks, it's a great little brooder to use. So uh, it's very compact. I said we just put it on top of a trunk here so we can kind of keep an eye on everything. But uh, overall, it's, uh, it's a nice product and uh, well made. And even if it was uh, out in the elements a little bit, it, uh, it's, it's metal. So very, very cool. If I was to change anything on it, I don't know if I would. Uh, the only thing that we, like I say, we have to test at a later date is going to be the wiring on the, the shelving on the floor after we take up the uh, paper. Um, the width is very, very good, but we'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll add to the comments on it later if I need to. So uh, otherwise, uh, a, a very good product. Very nice. Thank you, uh, Miller Manufacturing, Little Giant, for uh, letting us review this product for you. So good luck on it and uh, many more sales to you. Oh, wait, here, let's go look here. You can also have, you also have the pullout tray that you can do have as well there so there you go feel free to comment in the comment sections if you want to and we'll have links and everything there uh, for the particular products all right you guys have a great day we will see you later bye